Welcome back to another video, guys. Nick's Daily here. Big win, game five against the Heat. We ended up winning 112 to 103. This wasn't the most electrifying performance by the Knicks, but I do think we can build momentum upon it. Overall, Jalen Brunson, you can see on the screen, 38, 9, and 7. Incredible masterclass performance by Brunson. Played all 48 minutes. Remember, in game four, played the entire second half. He is dealing with an ankle injury. Yet he doesn't make excuses. He just goes out there and produces. R.J. Barrett, 26 points, plus 17. 8 of 17 from the field, 3 of 8 from 3, and 7 of 8 from the line. Did have four turnovers. You can see Randall had four turnovers. Grimes had four turnovers. Sloppy basketball by the Knicks. We also missed 11 free throws. That's why I'm saying we're building momentum. We ended up winning the game. We did some things right, but we also did some things wrong. If we play like this in Miami... We're going home. So how can we play better next game? Well, what about pushing the pace? Second quarter of this game. 23, you can see right here. I'm oh, sorry, I can't. Uh, can I highlight this? No, I don't think I can. No. 23 to 36 in the second quarter. Why did we have such a good second quarter? Randall sat, and we just started pushing it and getting buckets in transition, easy looks. The heat looked disoriented. We need to do more of that. We need to push the pace. And I understand that our starters are doing everything. Like, look at our bench. Two from Obi, four from Hartenstein, two from Hart in nine minutes. He was a minus 11. Ugly game from Hart. I'll get in Hart in a second. But basically, without IQ, we have no bench. Because remember in game, what was it? What uh, Game three, when IQ got hurt. Or was that now? Was it game? What, what? I don't even remember what game IQ got hurt. I'm sorry, guys. IQ has just not been good this playoffs. Probably my favorite player on the team. But remember, he got hurt. That ankle injury, bam, got his ankle. Well, IQ had 12 points in that game. We only had 20 bench points. So, like, IQ has essentially been our bench this entire playoffs. That can't happen. And, like I said, Josh Hart, last game, foul trouble. This game, foul trouble. It's just mental to him. I understand Hart is frustrated with the officiating, but that's still not an excuse. It's not, right? I mean, Josh Hart is hurting the team. He's not helping us right now. And you know, if I could speak to Josh Hart right now, I I would just tell him straight up. I'd be like, yo, game six is a different game. You know, that the other two games, it doesn't matter. Go out there, play your ball, help your team win a game. Defense, pushing the pace. We need Josh Hart. We need, like, we're not winning game six without Josh Hart. If Josh Hart plays like this, we're done. We're going home. That's it for us, man. Cancun on three. I need to see more to Miles McBride. Gabe Vincent, Kyle Lowry are just two incredible veterans in this league, and they've got experience. So I, I would love to give Miles McBride more minutes, especially without quickly. It's one thing if IQ isn't is playing, then like yeah, we can just use IQ. But there's something about Miles McBride where it's like okay, he's a confident guy, really young in his early 20s, incredible defender. I, I always say if Miles McBride played 25 minutes a night, he'd be an All NBA defender. McBride, we saw what he did against Donovan Mitchell. Defended the lights out of him. So we can get McBride out there for even 10, 12 minutes to give Brunson some rest. Now, obviously, we're not resting Brunson 10 to 12 minutes in an elimination game. It just It's not going to happen. It would be stupid. But at the same time, can we give Brunson 43, 45 minutes? If that's just all I'm saying is the workload's incredible for Brunson. I know he can handle it. I know Brunson is that dude. But it's still, we need to get Brunson a little bit more off of the ball because he's doing everything. And I don't know if this is sustainable. Let me know if you guys disagree or agree. I understand that the Knicks need Brunson on the ball. They're at their best when he is. But right now, we just we don't have any bench. Look at the Heat's bench and what they gave them. 17 from Duncan. Caleb gives him 11. Kyle gives him nine. Five from Cody. Why am I saying their first name? It's kind of weird. But, you know, that's a huge discrepancy between them and us. So I, I just I need to see more out of our bench. I need to see more out of Tibbs in, in the sense of getting more guys involved. And because, like, we have D uh, Fournier apparently wasn't available tonight, but we have Derrick Rose. Like, why not Why not see some Derrick Rose? I'm not just saying that because I love Derrick Rose. And you know, when I first started watching basketball, that's when Derrick Rose was entering the league. But D Rose is a veteran in this league. He, he he's like if Kyle Lowry can can go, I know Lowry's won a championship with the Raptors, but if Kyle Lowry can go out there and make an impact, why can't Derrick Rose? That's all I'm saying is just can we get a little bit more depth, more guys in the rotation, and 
yeah, that's just that's just my thoughts on it. Quentin Grimes also played 48 minutes, had four turnovers. So Grimes had a huge steal on Jimmy, two steals, five assists, four rebounds. Grimes is just the perfect wing for us. Defends and can shoot threes, can also get to the basket and did not get to the free throw line. Doesn't shoot many free throws at all, but he definitely can break down a defense. Grimes is a good player, former uh, first round pick out of the University of Houston, man. I live in Houston, so shout out to Quentin Grimes. But I don't know. What else do I tell you guys? I'm ready for the next game. We won tonight. That's fine. Who the hell cares? We're down three to two in the series. Game six is in Miami. I'm going to go listen to Coach Tibb and listen to Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle and listen to the Heat and just expect a much different Heat team next game. The Heat, remember the guys, they lost by nine points. They lost by nine points. They shot 30.2% from three and 42% from the field. This Heat team is not showing up next game playing like this. So it means that the Knicks are going to have to elevate. You can see the New York Knicks had 18 turnovers. That's inexcusable. They, what else can we point out? Um, Outside of that, they missed 11 free throws, like I said. But yeah, a lot of good things from this game, but still a lot of bad things, right? So uh, let me know, you guys, you guys. But uh, that's going to be it for the video. Man, that's your boy, Knicks Daily. If you guys are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. I drop daily Knicks videos. And until next time, guys, have a great night and go Knicks as always.